Playboy as a brand is Americana. It's like one of those logos that's like well known. It's like the American flag. You know, a lot of artists um, have worked with Playboy. So they have like that history that connects with art. It just made sense in that sense, you know what I mean? Like it was one of those things that just clicked and it was like, yeah, like let's do something. Working with motion and video, the first thing that popped in my mind was like GIFs and animated GIFs and like not so much animation, but just like uh, what is something that we can get across without, uh, you know, like you wouldn't see in a, a static image. Now it's 2013 now, like print is still there, but you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're starting to use our iPads, the computers to get the information now. Um, so there's opportunity there to, to, to have these types of, uh, you know, load screens and like movements and things like that. To be a part of it is, is great because the timing is perfect, you know, especially with the type of art that I do. It's kind of, you know, sculptural and interactive. A lot of the pieces are inspired by signage that are, you know, it's already existing. So for me, the neon is kind of like, you know, a sample. You take it from like the city, you know, and then you resample it or remix it. And then you, you know, place it back into maybe a different context or the same context that you find it in. All that is just something we worked into the, um, the scenes that we created, you know, the four scenes that we created. The concept for the first load screen uh, with the ears, the Playboy ears on the model, it's, it's just like a no-brainer, you know. Um, I talked with uh, Jared Ryder, photographer, and we, we came together and drew it out, sketched it, um, different ideas, you know, um, and, you know, put it down with the neon. When we concepted the ears for the first load screen, we also were thinking about a narrative to go along with it, the set. The whole set, you know, is built around the piece. The second setup with the bed is real intimate. It's like this, you know, beautiful, uh, headboard almost, you know, neon headboard that says Playboy. The textures of having the, uh, you know, the, the bed sheets, the silk bed sheets and the model just kind of draping them, you know, is really like looking at like uh, old art history books with nudes and being in school and painting like nude women, and, you know, it's, it's classic and it's like almost like, you know, Hellenistic, you know, sculpture with women just kind of, you know, like the marble. Um, statues with like you know wet drapery effect all over them you know it looks like it's just like sitting on them really nice and that's what it is it's just like this moving sculpture we did the uh, casting process selected uh, Cassie Lynn and uh, we thought that there was a connection there because she was already you know doing paintings and she was an artist and she had that look it was like you know more of a newer, kind of fresh look, bohemian kind of style, just slender, sexy, kind of fit well. The Girls, Girls, Girls piece, or the setup, uh, was inspired by already existing signage. Um, typically you'd see Girls, Girls, Girls at like strip clubs and you know, that all has heavy, you know, people see that and they, you know, guys are just like, oh, well that's like a strip club or you know, you know what you're gonna get when you go to Girls, Girls, Girls. But this one was a spin, it was a remix, inspired by or just kind of, you know, riffing towards the fact that this was for that, you know, that there was no nudity involved, not nude girls, 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 that's not something that you would expect to see, so that was the inspiration for that piece. So for the fourth, um, the fourth setup, the Peep the Show piece. It was really fun creating it. Uh, it was more of like a sporadic kind of abstract, you know, uh, start to it. And then it got pulled together by, you know, already existing neon, but like smashing it up, you know, like a, uh, this, the, the kind of neon that I do is just like this square set up. And then this is like a broken up version of it. Peep the show based on like a uh, peep show, you know, and uh, that kind of language and intermixing it with, uh, you know, the language of like rap music or hip hop and peep the show. Being able to take some of the, the textures and the elements from the piece and then, like I was painting on the screen, brush strokes, white brush strokes, uh, when the, the model was taking off her, you know, her top and then I would come brush a white stroke and paint around her and white drips would, you know, come down. It was, it was taking some of that element from the piece and, and integrating it with the model.